say something weird is going on here. We must be in the Qubit Lab. Science is all about correlations. Correlations are when things happen together, like when neurons fire at the same time. Or like a residue accompanied by a funny smell. And scientists try to explain correlations. Maybe one thing is causing another. Maybe both things are caused by something else. But quantum mechanics is it's very strange. strange. In quantum mechanics, events can be correlated with no cause. always die at this game. <laughs> and we aren't telling each other what to play next. But maybe there is something you can't see telling us what to do. A hidden cause. What if we make this game a little more interesting? The name of the game is Rock, Paper, Scissors, Card, Coin. Each player flips a coin. If they get heads, they throw rock, paper, scissors. If they get tails, they draw a card from their deck. Are you ready? Let's begin. Welcome to the first ever game of Rock, Paper, Scissors, Card, Coin. These players look like they're serious, Laura. That's right, Heath. Look at the determination. Focus. And here they go. And they both flip heads. And they both throw scissors. Now, for the second flip. Tails for both of them. Could it be? Three of hearts. Unbelievable. They both drew the same card. Here they go again. Do they both have Jack of Spades? That's right, Heath. This is starting to look like quite a correlation. Looks like different sides of the coin on this one. And they both have heads again. Will they? They do. They both throw rocks. What we are seeing here is almost impossible. Whenever they flip heads, they throw the same sign. And when they flip tails, they both draw the same card. They are perfectly, perfectly correlated. correlated. But because they are flipping coins, the game is random. No one knows whether they will play a card. Or throw a hand sign. If you did the math, you'd find that it shouldn't be possible to get these great of correlations. There's pretty much no way to get these good of results unless... The whole sequence was scripted beforehand. OK, so we were fooling you. But actually, there is a way to get these kinds of results without a script by using entanglement. When quantum particles interact, they act like a single quantum object with global properties that are not present in each particle individually. This is a strange quantum phenomenon called entanglement. It means that quantum particles can be correlated in ways that would be impossible normally. Think of quantum correlations like a wedding cake. You have bell inequalities at the top, with layers like steering and entanglement underneath. Below those are other classes of quantum correlation with funky names like obesity and discord. And boring old classical correlations are at the bottom. When testing if particles are correlated, each tier of the cake represents a more stringent test of correlations. If you pass the test on one layer, you would automatically pass the test on all layers below it, but not automatically the layers above. If there is a Bell violation, the top layer of the cake, then every layer below will also be in place, and thus the particles are wedded in the blissful matrimony of the most quantum of correlations. So far there has not been a definitive test, but groups in Munich and Brisbane are getting close. If a loophole-free test shows a true Bell violation, this will tell us something very profound about the universe. Entanglement would mean that particles can be connected across time and space, and events can be correlated without anything causing them. Theorists in Oxford and Singapore are still puzzling over how to understand all of these correlations. They're believed to be closely connected with the power of quantum computers and the security of quantum communications. So even as experiments move closer to showing real quantum correlations, we don't really understand what they mean. Do, Do you, you understand, understand what, what they, they mean? mean? I'm Heath. And I'm Laura. See you next time. <laughs> Very cute. OK, this is less cute. Really, Laura? 
you, you knew where this was going. Rock beats scissors. Woo!